What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's JJ. And Mike, this high school football video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company, the perfect place to cater your team's next event. Wilson football riding an emotional roller coaster to Valencia for a memorable CIF Southern Section Division 7 quarterfinal versus West Ranch on Friday. Everything he just said is an understatement. Bruins having a historic season and looking for the second semifinal spot of the Ziegenhagen era. Taking on a very good and emotional team from West Ranch. They're in the same district as Saugus, and as you've heard, I'm sure there was a shooting at Saugus this week so the entire district rallied and this game was the first public event since then all the proceeds go into the victims families if you came for emotion we've got that if you came for defense you're in the wrong highlight first wilson drive of the night and the first carry for dylan harris is going to set the tone 57 yards into the west ranch red zone this is what we've seen from this wilson team they've scored on eight of their 10 opening drives and they do it again as harris takes it in for five yards out wilson takes a 7-0 early lead more Harris on the next drive. And that's always a good way to keep the ball and run the clock down into the red zone this time. And now it's Petway to Robinson on the little swing pass. Very nice play call to the pylon. So Wilson's up 14-0 at the end of the first quarter. Things going well so far. The Wildcats, though, are going to find their offense on the ensuing drive. Seven plays, five of them bubble screens from Walker Egget to Zach Van Bienekum on a seven-play touchdown drive. And, of course, you're going to cap it with that TD, 14-7 at the end of the first. Bruins bounce right back and answer on their ensuing drive. Big pickup here for Michael Bruner. And then a second touchdown for Harris near the goal line. And Wilson's back up 21-7 here early in the second quarter. As you can tell, a lot of points in this one. Not that different from what we expected. Not a lot of defense, as we've mentioned. West Ranch just a little bit off in terms of their rhythm with the ball. That's going to set up the play of the night for Wilson going the other way. How did Petway avoid that sack? How did Nick Timko make that catch? And how was that not on SportsCenter? I, I don't know anything that went wrong with that play for them. And that leads to the third touchdown for Harris. And Wilson is now up 28-7 with about six minutes left in the second. So again, pretty much according to script, you knew the Wilson offense was going to come out and put up points. You knew the defense was going to be needing to stop plays like this. West Ranch needs to spark. They get it on the fake punt for VBK. And then down near the goal line, Nick Cole dribbles this screen pass into the end zone to cap an 11-play drive. Wilson's lead is now 28-14. Wilson is not going to stop scoring. What game do you think this is? Petway to Timco. Seven catches for 174 yards already. And a incredible amount of balance on that little uh, whirling dervish. Then on a quick draw McGraw screen pass, it's Petway to Bruner. And that'll work. Wilson back up 35-14 with about a minute and a half left till half. However, of course there's more offense. West Ranch scores on the six-play drive to cut the halftime lead to 35-21. West Ranch flew that Saugus flag all night long. There was a moment of silence before the game at halftime. I mean, you could just kind of feel something coming. Special night for that community, obviously. Wilson coming out, chewing up almost 10 minutes of the third quarter by going for it on fourth down twice. However, they can't turn it into points as the field goal attempt is blocked. So, going the other way, the Wildcats get out of their own end with a very nice pass interference call there. And then here we go again. He's good at business. <laughs> it's Nick Cole in for six, and we've got a ball game, 35-28, headed to the fourth quarter. Wilson, Petway, Bruner, undeterred. Just keep doing what you're doing. 41-yard touchdown is going to put the Bruins back up by 14 points. Not a lot of good tackling in this game <laughs> also, if you haven't noticed. Uh, never mind. Jackson Reyes with a 99-yard kickoff return for a TD, and Wilson's lead is now 42-35 in and out instant and that's exactly what that crowded crowd need to get back into it and uh, speaking of in an instant on the first play of the ensuing drive it's deja vu all over again on the other side pat way to bruner 59 yard touchdown this time wilson 49 35 if you're following the flow you know you know there's more points coming reyes dives in again as he's gonna slip past a 24-yard touchdown, and they're going to cut the Wilson lead down to seven again with under eight minutes left. You just see that crowd going nuts. Wilson may have fell in love a little bit too much with that big play on the next drive. They don't run the ball. They have to punt, and here they come again. Momentum is wearing blue. Reyes on a little swing pass, and no one really wants to tackle today, so this, uh, this ain't that game. The extra point is going to tie it. It's 49-49. They've come all the way back, and now the pressure is squarely on the Wilson Bruins shoulders. Well, and they were built to handle that. Never fear. First play, 
the Burner Bruner is here once again. He's not going to take no for an answer. A 46-yard catch-and-run touchdown. Bruner, eight catches for 257 yards and four touchdowns. That puts Wilson up 56-49 with two and a half minutes left in the game. Back-to-back first play touchdowns on back-to-back drives for Wilson. Wow. But you should know by now that any time the offense is out there, we're probably going to get more of this. Big play starts the drive for Iggett who uh, was not done his seventh touchdown pass of the night. Maybe one of the biggest ones in West Ranch history. They score, so they are down one, but they hurry to the ball for the two-point conversion, and they get it. You could feel the ground shake. That student section over there was so turnt. 57-56. But the game is still there to win for the Bruins. A minute and a half left on the clock, and Petway leading that juggernaut offense. He's 27-35 to for 518 yards and four touchdowns. 518 yards passing for Petway. I also like 27 for 35. I mean, he was efficient in it too, but he's going to use his feet here in cl- in the clutch to get Wilson into a place where they can win this game under 10 seconds left. He's got Harris over the middle, but the pass is broken up at the last second. So with time running out, Wilson is hugging and praying and hoping and wishing that this field goal is going to be the difference in the game from 32. It's not meant to be. The difference in this night was pure human emotion from West Ranch and Saugus and Valencia and that entire district. I mean, they played for their city, and sometimes you're just on the wrong side of somebody else's incredible story. And what else can you can say? Obviously, football seems so insignificant after everything that that community has been through. But nonetheless, we got a hell of a playoff football game tonight. Congratulations to both teams for a tremendous quarterfinal game. And as sad as we are to say goodbye to this Wilson Bruins team, you will still find all of your Long Beach sports coverage right here at the 562.org.